do you use Edge? Have you seen this before here? Sports, Google, movies. Well, I'm going to show you how to create these. You would start off by going to any website that you normally want to go to. So let's say we're going to go to the NBA. And in here, we load the page and then we can then right click and add this to a tab group. We could actually pick an existing group if we had one. In this case, we probably would go to sports, but here we could do a new group and we can just say NBA and then the NBA will get its own tab. Now that I've added the NBA in here, I could technically go over here and type in NBA tickets and do a quick search for that. And then let's just say this is a website that we want to use. We can then right click and we go to add tab or group and then select NBA. Oh, if you notice, but this is pink now and both these are pink. Now we can click on travel and you can see travels showing up here. If we go ahead and click a new tab, you can minimize MBA, minimize travel. So it's a good way to reduce the clutter on your machine in the tabs. And the one danger though, is once you build all these, which can be really nice, you have the ability to clean them up a little bit. So we can actually just say, hey, we wanna go back to the MBA. We will add this over to sports and then we can go in here and we can just get rid of that ticket site and then now we're cleaned up a little bit better and at this point in order to be able to reuse these there is a danger that it might go away one quick workaround would be then to right click on the tab and you can say add tab group to a new collection and it'll pop up in this right spot and right click this one and tab group to a new collection same thing for movies which by the way has IMDB, which is a great spot for searching for who was an actor in what movie, you can just search for the movie and I'll tell you, as well as Movies Anywhere, which is another video that we've actually created on the channel. I recommend that you watch a video on that. And then we can right click here on travel and we can say add it to the new collection. So at this point, if you click on this collections button in the top, we should now be able to see all these tab groups in there we can go ahead and just say let's get rid of this travel possibly by accident possibly if you rebooted we'll go to this collection we'll right click on it and we will hit open all two and now travel came back as you see so it's a good way to set up the tabs use them pretty quickly and then you'll have the ability to get them back if you happen to lose them if your browser went away. That's a big thing a lot of people are having trouble online where they create these tabs, close the browser, and then they're gone. We'll do a quick test here and see if the same thing happens. Okay, so we got Edge here. We're gonna go ahead and click on this little collections button. And as you notice here, the new tab pops up, but the tab groups are all gone. So here we can click on travel, we can hit open all two go back over here we can right click on movies and we can right click on movies and click on open all two we can go over to here again and for example at open up all of the sports you can go ahead and click on them to shrink them down and save some space and it's a great way to get a bunch of your tabs one thing to note here the last tab group can be clicked because it won't minimize, it's just leaving it open. But if you open another tab, you can obviously mix through regular tabs and tab groups. Hope this helped. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this with your friends and colleagues. Thanks.